I'm using the recipe for the cake from the CuriousChickpea.com cake pops. You gotta make the cake first. Ideally, you would probably make it like a few hours before, but I needed a, I needed a cameraman, so and he didn't get off from work until right now, so um, I'm just gonna make it a little bit late. So we're going to mix the dry ingredients together first, and you have to whisk it until fluffy, which with these freaking uh, vegan recipes are super important. If they say whisk until fluffy, then you better fucking whisk that shit until it's fluffy. Otherwise, the cake is gonna suck. Stop the camera. One and a half cups plus one tablespoon. So this recipe is just gonna be fussy like that. Uh, so before I whisk it, the first step in the recipe was actually, so basically we need to make like a buttermilk. So it's one cup plus like one tablespoon, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. What? Yes. Stick it in. Oh, that looks so disgusting. That's just the way it is. Whisk, 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 whisk. So this calls for one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract. Three, four, oh my god, that's so much oil. That's the oven, preheated. Okay, so that looks pretty smooth to me. Ooh. I oiled it, floured it, don't do it any other way. I'm gonna hope that the whole thing fits. All right, so don't mind the other thing in the oven. I'm just piggybacking off of this oven heat. I was hungry, okay? I'm just gonna set it to 30 minutes. It said 36 minutes, but I'm just gonna check on it in that time. And we're done. It's ready, I think. So I'm making, I'm doing like a basic buttercream recipe. You can honestly just get like frosting from the store. Maybe you probably add powdered sugar to it as well. All right. So this is the one you gotta wash your hands really good for. And here's where you make the actual cake pops. I always thought this was kind of gross, I'll be honest. I I agree. I oh, every Ooh. time I every time I see this, it's like mmm. And then you smudge. like smudge. Oh. Smudge. Mmm. You like mm. that? You like my under fingernail grease all up in your freaking cake. Don't you love cake pops? What consistency are you looking for? Just something that'll hold together. I think in the future I'll overcook the cake a little bit and just dry it out. Yeah, I think it works best with like stale cake or at least that's been sitting around all day. And I went with a vanilla buttercream and like vanilla cake just in case my icing ended up too thin and you could see through it to the actual cake color. I didn't want it to be too dark. I think I'm gonna end up putting all of it on. All right, so it's very egg-shaped, these eggs. I'm gonna try to make them close to the actual shape, which is good because the scoop is pretty ovular. I bought these white morsels. They're basically like white chocolate because it uses cocoa butter and they're vegan. So I'm gonna stick this in the microwave. That's a lot of chocolate. I know. People say you're supposed to do a double boiler, but I've tried many different ways. And when you have a small to medium-ish quantity, it's not worth it doing a double boiler. It's just extra headache. truly like bright yellow because I already I know that it's already kind of yellowish and that's why it's not really showing but this is gonna be the stems the stem on top of the negs actually this is doing a crap job at stirring all right let's take the stuff out of the freezer so it's nice and hard let's hope that this works we're gonna draw not really working, but that's okay. Little 
stems on top. I was originally going to like pipe some buttercream on top or something and I'm realizing that that might have worked better but maybe not really because I don't have a actual piping tip. But at least this will harden properly. So I realized that I could have used like dark chocolate like melted a dark chocolate bar and just drawn it on but I'm kind of lazy so I'm just gonna use this I know that I said that I hate fondant and things that are barely edible in large quantities and this kind of applies to that but it's going to be really small and honestly maybe it might be good oh the first two ingredients are corn syrup and sugar so um yeah it's just gonna add to the sweetness all right, so I'm gonna try to replicate that face. I've never used this before, ever. Oh God. They're all gonna be varying levels of creepiness, just letting you know. Oh, I should have put them closer together. So it's like, gets it thin. Mmm. So creepy. The sides of the mouth. Go up to the eyes. There's like, they're like barely recognizable. That one's a tiny bit better. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you okay? Just a little bit frustrated. This didn't turn out the way that I wanted. This was gonna be the more, the more complex can out I, of all of them. Can I give it a hand? Alright, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you should try Can one. Can I try one? Hold on. I'll be the cameraman. Camera woman. Cameraman. Can you squeeze from the bottom? What are you, a savage? Why did I even let you do that? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Put that away from the other ones. Alright, there we go. We fucking did it. Wow, that was awful. You messed up that guy's eye. The veggie hot dog and everything else will be way better, I promise. I'm gonna try one and you're gonna try one. And it's gotta be on camera, okay? I'm gonna have the ugly one. It's good. Like... It's good. It's very sweet. But it's good. We're gonna put the rest of these in the fridge. And I think they're just going to slowly disappear and we'll, we just won't know what happens to them. We just won't talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. Or quickly disappear. Join me next week as I make veggie hot dogs with considerably more success because there's almost nowhere to fail on that front. Well here, there were many places that I could fail and I failed at pretty much all of them. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>